Hello and welcome to Andy's Game Vault. Today we'll be playing another campaign of Rome Total War. This time I'll be playing as the Brutii family. We're going to be doing very hard difficulty. And we'll be doing the long campaign. We Brutii are the only true Romans. We saved Rome. We drove out the kings. We made the Republic. The family deserve respect for that. Respect and obedience. We know what is best for Rome. New lands, living space, territory, slaves. I know what must be done. The Greeks. They will down their perfume noses at all Romans, and they hate us. I'm going to give them a reason for hate. When I have crushed them, Roman steel, that's the answer. Roman steel in the booty I fist. And the other great Roman families, the Scipii, trash. They have no respect for proper Roman ways. For us, the Julii prostitute themselves as if the people mattered. Bah! We, Brutii, must lead Rome. Alright, we got our first mission, which is to take Apollonia, which is right across the waters here. So in this campaign we'll be going up against much stronger opponents than our last campaign in the July. We were just going up against the barbarians. This time we'll be facing the Greeks and eventually we'll make it all the way down here to Egypt and we'll be taking on the Egyptians. Basically I want to try to control the eastern side of the Mediterranean. So let's go ahead and let's take a first of all let's take a look at our family tree over here. We have Tiberius Brutus, who's the faction leader. He's pretty decent. And we've got our faction heir, Aulus Brutus, and Amulius Brutus, and then finally Vibius Brutus. They're all pretty good starting commanders. He's probably the best commander. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Let's take a look at our f cities first. I'm going to be building a lot of these shrines to Mars, which will eventually give us the combat experience. So we'll start with that. And I want to increase the tax rate. Let's have Aulus build a watchtower. We'll get Amulius over here in the boats. He'll take Apollonia. But let's get our spy in the boat. This first. Sir! Boarding! Aye aye, Captain! All ashore! Sir! Attack! Besieging settlement, sir! And they've got some militia hoplites and peltists. So one of the challenges that I'm placing on myself for this campaign is I'm going to try to do this battle without pausing. I'm going to try to do all the battles without pausing. Ex with the exception is probably at the start of each battle I will issue my initial commands. Alright, so the one thing about the hoplites over here, we definitely don't want to engage them head on, so I'm going to have to be careful with my Hestades. And make sure they don't fight those hoplites head on and face those spears head on. So I'm doing a three pronged attack. We've got this kind of T shaped city over here. So I want to hit them from three different sides. We'll have this group over here. With, they're going to step up the pace. And I got my equities over here. I'll have him go to the double speed as well. Alright. So they're happy to stay in their town square for now. But let's see if we can draw them out. 
maybe with our equites or something. You know, I think I'm going to get my general over here too. Try to draw him out. So I definitely want to get my Hestades out here marching. I don't want to... Well, let's go ahead and get my other group marching up as well. Try to hit them all at the same time. I may send out my Hestades first to start with the missiles. I don't know what this guy's doing. We got some guys way ahead of the pack. We'll have this group double time. I don't know. Paused. Ah, shoot. Can't pause. Do not pause. It's hard to deprogram myself. Can my Valetes throw from over here? Or are they just going to run around? Let's go ahead and send this group to charge. And they have them throw their... And we'll charge from the rear with our equities right now. They're going to take some damage from these spears. We'll just hold our ground, put them on defense, while everyone else gets in involved in the fight. We'll get the general to hit this, these hoplites in the back too. Get this Hestati going. We're fighting the Peltists. And we're got some equites here hitting this militia group. They are shaken. We're getting uh, javelins thrown. Our general is in the thick of it. Battlefield. And with that, we won the battle. We've got them to rout. Go ahead and end the battle. We lost 81 guys, but not too bad from a from a siege like this. I think I'm just going to go ahead and occupy this settlement. It's uh, really small, so I don't need to, I won't need to be leaving a lot of troops in here. We got that... Wow, 5,000 denarii. That's a really good mission. And he'll go in there next turn. I'm going to get a Hastati. I want to get some peasants to maintain my public order. And we'll send our spy out to this direction as well. And with that, I'm going to go ahead and end my turn. Alright, we got another potential commander. He looks pretty good. He's only 22. He's just got two command stars, but not too bad. He's been in the war, so he gets extra hit points. Less likely to die in a charge. Alright, they want us to take Thurman. We've got ten turns to do that. We'll probably try. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and get a port in Croton and in T Tarentum. I think I will get some roads. Um, actually, I think I want to go ahead and start training Hestadi as soon as possible. So I'll be, I'll do the Legion barracks there. And then over here, I'll probably be doing Velites and eventually archers over in Croton. So Apollonia, pretty decent start for this town. It's giving us a 772 income. Let's go ahead and get roads going even before we build. No, we want to do the shrine because um, I'm going to go with Mars also here. So I'll take Salona and then try to move out and take um, Thurman over here and we will be going to war with the Greeks alright let's get these guys out alright let's go ahead and get these guys out I think I'll just move him 
And let's move our spy. So they've got not a big... It's very similar to the last town. I think they have one extra guy. Okay, I'm going to merge these two groups together. And I'm just going to send these three guys out. And I want to get this guy on the move as well as my diplomat. Alright, get my diplomat. We'll see if we can trade with Macedonia. Alright, and I'm going to go ahead and end my turn. Alright, let's see if we can make a counter offer. We'll do map information. And trade routes. Nice. I like getting map information. Alright, I'm going to just go ahead and send my son spy into Salona over here. They only have 416 people and they don't have any buildings. So we probably won't be enslaving them either. Alright, let's go ahead and do this battle. Alright, again, we're going to try to surround the town. We'll send out our equites first and our general. Get one group of Hastati on this side and another one on this side. Although, what are they doing? They are attacking us. And we don't have any backup, so that was not expected. So, let's get this group over here. We'll try to flank them with our Velites. Get them off of skirmish mode. Come on, run. So kind of a big mistake on my part to expect these guys to just sit in the town square. Let's go ahead and attack them in the rear. See if that helps our morale. Seems like we're winning this battle, but we're going to take a lot of losses. Let's get our other guys just marching out. Actually, these guys can help out. No. Uh, yeah. Let's get them. And they're finally routed. Wow. Okay. We took a lot more losses than we should have. Because I was just expecting them to be in the town square. Big mistake by me. But not the end of the world. We're still going to win this battle. And these guys are just going to halt. These guys are going to just march up. I also forgot to place this infantry group, this group of Hasadis. They were just sitting out there. But these guys are fresh, so we're going to lead the charge. And we've got our Velites. Actually, I'm going to send out my Velites first. And just start throwing missiles at them. And same with this side. They're Illyrian mercenaries. A lot, I think, a lot better than the Peltis that we saw before. So start moving our equites. Make sure these guys are on skirmish mode. Get these Hastatis to move out. Send my equites and my general up. We're gonna charge. 
charge their peltists. Send my equites over here and we'll have my general hit these guys in the back. And we're just gonna charge these guys forward. And go general. Charge. And I think I wanna set these guys on the defense. Same with you. Come on, General, get there. And these guys should route soon. These Equides taking on these Sicilian pirates. This battle should be over soon. Gods be praised. The enemy general is killed. Fear makes a home in our enemy's hearts. All right. The gods be we won. The enemy's kind of a costly victory. We made that big mistake at the beginning, but I think um, it's not. It's not the end of the world. It's not the worst victory. And I'm just gonna occupy this. Get the, my one denarii from looting. Good, I'll take that denarii. Noble master. And uh let's see if I can uh map out Greece's territories before attacking. And we will get the governor's house. And over here we'll get the roads finally. He's gonna go over here and build a watchtower. We're gonna get more troops to eventually attack Thermum. And I want to get my agent down there as well. Let's get some equites in Tarentium. And I'm gonna go ahead and end my turn. Alright, we got our spy. We're gonna have a take a look at what Greece is doing. Maybe spy on some units. Yes. We'll go ahead and uh, see if we can get trade rights and maps. Nice. Greece is kind of spread out. They've got a town here, down over here, and of course they, they own Syracuse. All right, so we'll get our general here to do some watchtower building. I'd like to get another one over here. Wow, this goes way up, doesn't it? Okay, I'm gonna take a look at what shrine that I want over here, probably whatever does the max happiness. Uh, Mars. They all do five happiness. Juno gives the health bonus. But Mercury does trade goods. Uh, I'm going to go with Juno. And I may change it up later. And I can't trade any peasants. We'll keep them on low taxes for now. Increase the population growth. And yeah, I'm going to get this general. He's kind of going to be out of the action for a few turns. He's our faction heir. But I want to get him just building tons of watchtowers along this coastline. And I'm going to merge my armies. I think I can send out most of my troops. We'll see. Just check it out. Yeah. Get these guys in on the attack. Just stick them in the city for now. What do we want to get in here? We'll get... Probably get land clearance. We get another watchtower over here. 
going to move my diplomat out and see if I can find anybody else to trade with. And I moved everybody. Let's go ahead and end my turn. We've got a new general, Cassius Brutus. He's untruthful, and but he has command talent. Well, he's not the best, but I'll take him. And we'll get some Hastati over here. And I think I'll be able to get some Velites. Let's get that port finally. Increase our trade. Our finances are okay. Build another watchtower and then get one more over here. Get roads in Salona. Tarentum. I'm going to get farming. Okay, I'm going to get my spy in the city of Thermon. Send all these guys out. And build a watchtower. And get these guys in the city. And we'll move them out soon enough. I'm going to go ahead and get some peasants. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get some mercenary hoplites. And I did not mean to take this peasant along with me. I'll send him back in the town. We got a mercenary captain for Amulius. Nice. I may transfer that over to Cassius. Because I think he's too good of a manager. I don't know. He's. We'll see how well his uh, management skill increases over time. Alright, just sending him out. Let's go ahead and end our turn. Alright, go over here and build your final watchtower. And you can head back to civilization. Go ahead and get land clearance for Salona. Apollonia. We will get a trader. Let's move our diplomat. Out of move. So we've got their faction leader over here. He's pretty tough. He's going to have a huge bodyguard. But his armies are not the strongest. But he's got a lot of them. A lot of uh, missile guys. I think I am going to merge these guys up. Send him another three units. And get him to march into Greece. Move out. Out of move, sir. I think I'm going to go ahead and get the wooden palisades. Just for a little bit of protection. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and end my turn. Wow, Gaul wants to be allies. And they're offering map information and trade rights. Sure, we don't plan on attacking Gaul anytime soon. The Julia I will, but... Alright, let's go ahead and fight Greece. I don't know if their... Faction leader is going to be in range. But I think the city will. Warriors, I have won great renown through leading men to victory. I see no reason to change the habits of a lifetime today. Do not fear these over nice Greeks. They have come to fight, it is true, but they will only stay to die. On this field stand one in four of our people's warriors. We are enough then to win great honor and do great service. This and more, I have no doubts that you will do. They have been brought to the battlefield by mewling infants instead of leaders. 
There is no advantage in numbers to either side. Therefore, skill and courage will be the keys to this day's battle. All that said, we are the stronger. Every one of you is better than they. Remember this and take heart from the memory. The enemy will undoubtedly try to slaughter us at a distance. We must charge home and stop their cowardly plan. Those fools have never fought against me before. I hope to give them a nasty surprise. By this time tomorrow, our sword arms will ache from overuse! All right, they've kind of got a hill's advantage, but we're going to go ahead and send our cavalry out right away. Get them, try to get the high ground with our cavalry. We'll march our infantry up, but I don't know how effective our infantry is going to be in this battle because they're mostly missile units. And so I think I'm just going to try to take them out with my cavalry. They also got reinforcements coming from this hillside here, which we've got there. Just way a lot more missiles. So we'll go ahead and get our our cavalry to double time, and we'll try to take this army out before they get here. That might be a little bit too late. So we got our cavalry going coming, and yeah, this army is just all missiles. So. Should be okay. Okay, they are coming pretty fast. Here comes our cavalry. Let's go ahead and charge. Get our generals charging in. This group should route really soon. They're just peltists. Get our equites charging in. Yeah, it's just missiles, so we're gonna try to take them out as quickly as possible. We can get those guys. We need to hit their Cretan archers, because those are the really powerful archer unit. I think they're the most powerful. Keep taking on those peltists. And we'll get this group here. The enemy's general is slain, and now his men fear us. It is time to press the attack. Okay, these guys are in trouble. We're too close. Let's get them out. Come on. Get these guys down the hill. Let's, let's get them back with the rest of the guys. I, I gotta make sure and finish these guys off. Okay. Let's get our Hastatis to attack these Peltists. Make sure don't leave anybody behind. Took some damage from their peltis. Uh, they don't need to charge. We got our cavalry there. Full of fear, and now they flee. And I think this army is gonna retreat. So get our cavalry. Have we finished them off yet? Okay, they're not retreating. So here they come. Our guys are pretty winded, but they're probably going to be winded too. Let's get our infantry lined up. Um, get our cavalry, except for this guy. Let's charge their general. Where is my cavalry? Oh, they were down the hill. 
And they just hit us. And let's get their hoplites. Okay, we one of our cavalry just just uh, got routed. We're trying to rally them, and they rallied. And we killed their general. Good. Let's get them in this attack. Okay, we've routed their hoplites. That was their militia hoplites. Get our routed guys in here. We'll just keep taking on them. Taking them on with our cavalry. Make sure to get our missile troops in the battle. And I want to try to kill as many as we can so we can get an empty city. That would be really cool. If we can route this entire army. Yeah, we're going to continue for sure. Try to kill as many guys as we can. Can we get these hoplites? Now, what percentage are we on? 86%. But I think this second army... I think they too many guys escaped. I think they're gonna march back into the city, which will be fine. We can do another city siege. Actually, we can attack their faction leader who was standing outside of the city as well. And when we attack him, if he doesn't go into the city, then uh, we won't have to lay siege to it. So that'd be really good if we can do that. All right, huge victory. Got 1,500 kills and only lost like 200, so pretty good victory for Amelius Brutus. Nice job. Not a heroic victory, but a nice one. Victory! And yeah, looks like we will be able to take the city. And Amelius got his commander bonus. And we'll take the city. And we will enslave the population. We got some Triarii. Nice. I like Triarii. Let's get this general back. I want to just deal with this guy and fight. Just a million stars in this battle. A lot of good command traits. Alright, looks like they're hiding over in this corner over here. Let's go ahead and... But they're marching towards us, so... Let's get our cavalry and velites over here. And we'll have our infantry line up over here and pretend to attack them from this side but I plan to hit them from the sides so they got a couple of hoplites and a couple of peltists and their massive heavy calf who is combined about as big as our two generals so glad we've got two generals in this battle and these guys are... are those just pe peasants? Or are they slingers? So, oh yeah, they're just peasants. They don't even have any kind of missile. Interesting. So, let's get our Velites to double time. Try to get them on top of the hill. I'm gonna get our infantry just to kind of slow down a little bit. And we'll just have them walk. Are 
they retreating? Alright, let's get our cavalry to charge. Looks like they're retreating. Oh no. And I just let them escape. Ah, oh, shoot. Yep. Oh, we just barely missed them. Those cowards. Wow, how. What in the. What? What? He just, like, teleported across the map. Crazy. I've never seen him move so far. Let's train up our Equites, get those guys back to full strength. And I will go ahead and build roads, I think. I'm do a low tax right here in Apollonia. Croton, I want to build... Well, we'll go ahead and get farming over here. I'm going to go ahead and end my turn. Okay, looks like we've got another mission, which is to blockade Syracuse. We just get the Senate's gratitude. I don't know if I really care about their gratitude. I want Triarii or money. And I don't really... I know the Scipii are... They're the ones that need to deal with Syracuse, not us. Your Honor. I think I might want to try to take Athens next. Not a very big population, but they've pretty big city. I mean, they got their minor city. All right, Thurman is gonna get some peasants, I think. And let's go ahead and get some land clearance. And Tarentium, I'm gonna get the Temple of Mars. And Salona can't train peasants yet. Still don't have the population. We'll get wooden palisades for Salona. I'll just send Amulius down, or Aulus down a little bit further. Get him in the battle, and we'll send these guys in to deal with Athens. And I'm going to get more Hastati, Velites. I'll leave Cassius here and this little Hastati group. Uh, we might need to go low taxes, yeah. Let's go ahead, let's take a little detour and build a watchtower. And then head on out. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and end our turn. Keep the reinforcements coming. I don't know if I'm in a train anymore. Our finances are kind of getting a little bit low. We've got a lot of construction to do. So let's get some mines. And Apollonia, get it, the barracks. Get him down towards the front. And Amulus to take this city. Wow, our spies opened the gates. That's nice. Let's see what we got. Okay. We got a huge uh, advantage in this battle. 10 to 1. Go ahead and fight that on the map. Alright, we got our gates, gates open. I'm just going to go ahead and rush the gates as quickly as I can. Get my cavalry in here. Get my infantry in here. They're sitting on the walls for some reason. I don't know why. But let's just get everybody in the in the city. And I don't know if they got boiling oil. Are we going to deal with that? But we're getting hit by missiles pretty heavily. 
Nope, no boiling oil. Let's get our guys. We they're on the walls. Let's just get everybody into the town square. Ready to rush the town square. I want to get away from the walls as soon as possible. I don't want to fight them on the walls. So I'm just sending that guys out to the town square. They got a pretty big town square. They're rushing to the town square as well. I don't know if this is a good idea. So they're coming out off the walls. Okay, we're hit their hoplites. Uh, <laughs> with our cavalry. We got our general fighting hoplites in the street. But, uh, they're just militia hoplites, and we kind of got corners here. Got them surrounded a little bit. Buddy charge. Uh, they're broken. Finally, good. Let's get everybody into the center. They got a choke point here. I'm a little bit concerned if they form up right here with their other hoplites. But maybe we can hit them in the back. Let's just go. General? What are you guys doing? We still got guys stuck in the gates. Ugh. I just hate... I'm not a big fan of the sieges in this game. Especially big cities like this. Get over there. Let's try to surround them. Mainly because units don't go exactly where you tell them to go in the cities. Like, I'm telling you to go to this corner. They're going in circles. They're attacking these hoplites. Get everybody in the center there. We got these hoplites in good position. Let's, let's go take out the hoplites. We'll get them surrounded. They're winded. Oh no, that was us. Yeah, they're winded too. They got their general in there. Okay, just nothing but peasants left to deal with. So we should be able to take care of them pretty easily. Our general lost a lot of guys. Luckily, our general didn't get killed. They're fighting off, us off pretty well. I really didn't expect him to put up this much resistance. There's our general, Amulius, our factionaire, just causing havoc against these peasants. We can drive these peasants out of the square 
and hold the square for two minutes will be fine. Man, our general's down to 14 guys. They still have guys in the square. Why haven't we, our timer started? Yeah. So they still got guys at the gate. They're just kind of stuck there. So we'll probably have to wait out this two minutes. But our general just got <laughs> demolished. He's only got 14 guys left. I am really lucky that he didn't die. This was kind of an awkward siege. Uh, we had the gates, we wanted to rush everybody in there. We had a large cavalry force. Now we <laughs> don't anymore. We had we had a good infantry. I mean, maybe I could have done better just fighting them at the, on the gates. I don't know. But cavalry is at such a huge disadvantage in siege battles. Okay, are they going to try to come and attack us or they're just stuck there. They do have some group here. This is some um, Peltists. Man, we still got guys trying to make it here. Minute 50. I want to get my hoplites. I guess we're going to have to send out our infantry to just attack this group. They're just Peltists. So we'll fight them and prevent them from getting into the square. We got a minute 30 left to hold it. Two seconds, one second, and victory. Ours, but only by the narrowest so, even though we have the advantage in kills in this battle, we lost quite a few. We lost more than, like, if I had automated this battle, we would have lo lost less. But I thought that was kind of cheap uh, to automate this kind of battle. Alright, and now we've got Athens. We're going to go ahead and enslave the population. And we've got a lot of guys to retrain up our equites. Got this temple of Aphrodite. I'm gonna go ahead and get peasants just to help maintain public order in this city. Build some roads. I'm gonna get this army to reinforce. So I still got four turns to um, blockade Syracuse if the Scipii don't take it over. So I'm going to go ahead and send him on the way. Well, we got an army I got to drop off first. Just some Hestades, get them to back up my troops in Greece. Let's get them over here, see if we can do that next turn. Uh, looks like this army is not going to be able to take this city this turn. So I think I will have time to get them over there. Let's get our diplomat on the move. Noble Can master? I cross? Once. Byzantium is... I can't cross At here. Once. I thought that would have been a crossing. So maybe I have to get him back. Is it because it's a siege though that I can't cross? I don't know. But we'll get him back. Uh, I don't want to tr train any more troops because costs are high. I'm going to go take a look at some of the faction rankings. Let's see the top five factions. So we're still not one of the top five. I mean, we're nowhere near the top factions. Greece is still higher ranking than us, even though we've taken one of their cities. And Gaul is, seems to be the number one rate faction right now. That's interesting. And 
And what do we got in military strength? Yeah, we're nowhere near the tops in military strength. Again, Gaul is number one in military strength. Population, that usually is going to be Egypt. And what do we got in territories? Yeah, again, Gaul has got the most territories. Carthage is tied with Gaul. And money, we are at the bottom. We don't have any money. All right, with that, I'm going to go ahead and put a cut in it here. Uh, thank you for watching. Bye.